Hello everybody, how are you all doing? Um, it's been a while since we've seen each other. Um, well not that long ago. Uh, I wanted to mention something real quick. Um, uh, so that being, if, uh, so first of all, this will be just a basic overview of Manx. Uh, this won't be a detailed deep dive into everything. Uh, if you want a detailed guide on how to set this stuff up that I'm going to talk about today, which is my basically my gaming setup under Fedora Linux, uh, then let me know in the comment section below. I will show you how you can set it up, how to get it running, up and running and everything. Bear in mind that that video will be quite a bit long <laughs> and it's a bit tedious to set up and get running. <coughs> um, I never said that gaming on Linux is easy, but once you do get it running, it's really something magical. So, um, <laughs> so as you can see by all the notes here, here's a bunch of stuff that has changed and that I've added and a bunch of things that you can do to get everything set up. Um, here's a bunch of stuff that I haven't mentioned, uh, but basically what we'll be focusing on and what I want to talk about is the importance of using shader caches and DXVK caching and Mesa caching whenever possible uh, because <laughs> it actually does improve gaming performance by quite a decent amount um, which can actually be highlighted by me showing you this over here which is basically a current listing of my shader cache directory which has about 12 gigs of shader cache pre-compiled ready to be used on my system uh, bear in mind then yes you could technically reuse my shader cache but it highly depends on your gpu what apis you're using what versions of apis and what your setup is and how you have everything connected so yes technically i could share my shader cache with all of you but i'm not gonna do that <laughs> so uh because it's specific for my setup and this actually allowed me to play games like cyberpunk 2077 which i recently picked up it's an amazing game it allowed me to play the game with pretty much better performance up to 20 to 40 percent higher than i would have on windows so um <laughs> it does actually make a pretty big difference and i don't like it when people think well linux isn't cut out for gaming it, it is it just takes quite a bit of time to get it set up is that initial hurdle of that setting up process that you have to hit so you can start gaming <laughs> it's so it's not easy to do it's pretty difficult and pretty complex um as you can see here by all the launch options they have to add in order to utilize all the caching and stuff uh bear in mind you have to add these to your Lutris environment as well. <laughs> so I have Origin here set up for a specific game um, or games that I have on Origin. And one of the games that I do play through Origin with connected with Steam is Need for Speed Heat. So I am able to play the game on the Linux. Um, it takes a bit of time to set up quite a few launch options and a few caching and stuff. But once you do have it all set up and connected, uh, you should be able to play those games. I'm able to play the game just fine. Um, again, having to rebuild the entire cache takes some time. So the first time you're going to run the game, it will take quite a bit of time to actually compile and set up the cache. For the first time, that is. So you have to play for a pretty decent amount of time first. And after that, it should run quite smoothly without any issues. For example, GTA 5 another game i started playing a lot recently it in the beginning it was lagging like crazy like it was like a slideshow and i thought it was impossible to play but then i did some tweaks some changes and some more caching and connecting everything when like creating a separate directory and stuff i'm not gonna go into that today again if you want a detailed video let me know in the comment section below and I will try and make that video, <laughs> not sure when, depends when I have the time, this is just a quick overview. Uh, even though I've been talking for about four minutes, or four and a half minutes to be exact, well, more than that. Basically, we're utilizing all the tricks in the book to maximize our gaming performance on the Linux for Origin. I also have OSU here set up a pretty much exact same way uh, for utilizing shader cache, so you can see that over here. 
pretty much the same things. I have a few things here added here as well. Uh, but most of these options here that I've put in as environment variables are more or less the same as the previous ones that we've used or that I've used back then when I started gaming on Linux. So all of the information and knowledge I have is knowledge that can be used on other distributions. All it takes is a bit of time <laughs> to set up everything. Now here's the thing. Fedora and a bunch of other distributions are taking away of media codecs. So <laughs> not sure how that's gonna impact gaming on the Linux. Not sure at all. If anything breaks, <laughs> um that it will suck. Uh I hope I will be still able to use the older version of Mesa to be able to do my recording and everything else. Uh, but once they remove those, the only way you can still keep using those codecs which you need in order to record videos and make video editing possible on the Linux is you have to have the Mesa um, packages and utilities and modules compiled to be working with the media codecs, that being H.264, H.265 and a few other things, not really sure right now what the next ones are. There's quite a few codecs that are relying on you having H.264 and H.265, especially H.264, since a ton of content on the internet uses H.264. A ton of content on the internet, dare I say majority of the content on the internet, uses H.264. So if they get rid of that, <laughs> we're pretty much screwed. And Fedora isn't the only one. OpenSUSE is doing the same thing. So who's going to say that not every single distro is going to get rid of those? We'll see. We'll see what happens. Um, again, my setup is pretty specific. <laughs> um, it's a bit of a tangent I want to go on. Basically, I have a ton of uh, variables and stuff set up. I also have a Kaven script so uh, set up here for KDE since I'm running KDE on my system right now. Which basically, whenever I full screen an application, that being a game, most of the time, it disables the animations. So within Steam, what that allows me to do is whenever I launch a game, it turns off all the anim um, animations and graphical stuff to help improve performance from my GPU. My GPU is pretty fast. It's not the fastest thing. I plan on upgrading it sometime in the future, which means I would have to rebuild the cache. God damn it. Oh well. And reboot my shaders. Frick. Um, <laughs> but basically, what I'm trying to say here is you can use a bunch of tools, tweaks, and different setups to get the uh, most amount of performance for your setup. Uh, so basically, here what I have for Cyberpunk 2077 is a bunch of launch options. Basically, the same thing I used before then, with a few extra added here at the end. So <laughs> normally, <laughs> my launch options, if I bring up the document again, would end somewhere around here, where it says command. What all of these things in the beginning say are variables for the environment, for the game itself. So I'm telling it, create as many forms of cache that you can, because the XVK actually uses multiple technologies, so we have to use caching whenever possible. So since we cannot go into the code to optimize it, we have to use caching to speed up those slower parts. So we use a cache to wrap those slower things in a package or an easily accessible manner <laughs> so that we can then quickly pick it up and utilize it right away. So we don't have to wait for it to be recompiled again, rebuilt again, and then sent down the pipeline. We can just grab it right away. So it doesn't take that much time anymore and is much faster, especially on an SSD. <laughs> now, a ton of people Hearing that I use only an SSD in my system, I have only one drive, <laughs> um, will freak out. A ton of them will freak out. Like, what are you doing? You're gonna destroy your SSD. It's fine. <laughs> Relax. It's fine. Um, SSDs don't break as easily as many people think. There's still the misconception that SSDs will break instantly. No, they won't. <laughs> Unless you're doing something extremely heavy or multiple years continuously well yeah if you're gonna do that then sure it's gonna fucking break really quickly but you would have to do it for multiple years continuously 
So I wouldn't be scared of using just a single SSD in your system to just get the gaming performance that you need. <laughs> Again, all of these things, all the detailed stuff, I have it all written up in this document. Uh, I will at some point, it's still not finished. There's still a few minor things I need to tweak, look into, change up a bit. Um, but once I'm done with that, <laughs> I will make a write-up on my website at some point. Not gonna, I'm not gonna say where, when exactly. I do have quite a few things I have to take care of. Uh, work on a few other projects. You know, it's not, it's not easy. <laughs> uh, but uh, I did manage to figure out a way to maximize my gaming performance, and I figured it's pretty important to share. And we are using actually uh, Vine D3D, uh, Vulkan, DXVK. Uh, OpenGL, all of these technologies. So if it's a OpenGL based game, it will use OpenGL and that's where we use Mesa mostly. If it's a Wind 3D, we use mostly Wind 3D, but we also use uh, Mesa's like threading and caching things that are in there. I'm not going to go into much detail into that. It, it's basically connecting multiple technologies together, <laughs> which will in the beginning result in a lot of utilization on both the CPU and GPU side and your disk side because you need to create those caches. But once you've got the cache created, <laughs> your resource uses will actually gonna be way more efficient and it's gonna be way faster. I've seen performance improvements upwards of 40 to sometimes even 80% <laughs> just by using caching wherever possible. So yeah, um, if you wanna see that and all the end of detailed links, let me know in the comment section below, uh, share this video around if you want to. I'm not gonna watch a game right now, because my recording is gonna die <laughs> if I do that. Um, well, it's not gonna die, it's just gonna be choppy. But a ton of the games will run perfectly fine, and there's quite a few more other things you have to do. I still have to research a few things here. For example, uh, pulling rates, don't need to research that, still in the process of researching it um and other things there's a lot of stuff i also tried building mesa with the codex so that's something i'm researching so i don't have to switch um but yeah there's quite a few things that need to be still researched looked into changed tweaked it's not perfect but the game performance is really decent and it's pretty fast so that's what i wanted to say uh make sure to leave a like subscribe and i hope to see all of you beautiful people Next time, bye for now.